Well, it's a new day at the car farm, and uh, earlier on in the week, I had gotten a phone call from Brian telling me he had a new toy. So he's here to show us the new toy, and I really haven't looked at the at the vehicle, not just yet, but um, we're gonna look at it together for the first time and maybe learn something and learn what we don't know, and um, we'll see how it goes. So what I'm understanding is this is a 1972 Jeep Commando. And uh, we're gonna take a ride, go over its bells and whistles, maybe review the ride quality, see what it needs and see how she functions, maybe have a little fun. We'll see, let's take a look. Yeah, we'll do everything. All right, Brian, show us what's under the hood. It's got a vate in it. Yep, it's a vate. It's got a vate. A non-Jeep grill, like you were saying, there's no, yep, is it five bars? Do we have a Jeep around here? Oh, it's up around the corner. It more, looks more like a Bronco. Yeah, look at this Day Glow Aqua, Aqua yeah. Aqua Why is green. it so bright? So you can find leaks. <laughs> So it's manual choke. It's got yeah. a screw in the vacuum port. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, the horns are not hooked up. Vehicle emissions control information. What? Yeah, there's some emission control. See, it's got that. <laughs> oh, it's got a canister on it. Yeah. That's funny. There's a lot. So there's the brake cylinder, manual. Oh, but at least it's a. Is that copper? Might be copper. He might have put that on there. Oh. Yeah. Now this was the brake light switch, and he said they yeah. had trouble with it. Yeah, they do. So he mounted one on the pedal. More traditional in the cab. Yeah. One. Yep. And uh, it's got a new power steering gearbox down there somewhere. And oh yeah, right here. Other than that, uh, as far as I know, it's original. How was the steering on it? Was it sloppy? The steering was really good. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, there's one U joint bad for the front drive shaft. Other than that, it feels really tight. It's beautiful. Orange wires. I haven't seen those yeah. in, since the 80s. Right. I mean, they're all. So the guy had it, and uh, did he drive it around, or he drove it 5,000 miles in 10 years? He was retired, and uh, was getting older, so it was time to sell it. So You're getting older. Might be time to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> getting older, listening to that story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it definitely looks like an international front end, though. Looks like an international or the early first-gen Bronco. I mean, yeah. Kind of, and that's the look that I think they were going for. And then the wider front end gave them more room for a V8 instead of a, just a straight six. So that yeah. was the thought behind that. There's just, the V8 just adds just a little more Make bottom a little end. More power. Just yeah. a little more. Yeah. You know, you're not usually, you know, hurting for low-end torque. No. So leaf springs. I don't know what, um, yeah, leaf springs, shocks. It's got a steering stabilizer in it. It does, yeah. And then uh, I don't know anything about. It's either a Dana 30 or a Dana 28 or something. It's a little guy. Supposedly you count the bolts, which I haven't done yet. There's bolts on it. That's a little pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, Trips light duty. Yeah. It is. Uh, once they went with AMC, they changed this over to the more traditional U joint in here instead of that funny ball thing. Yeah. And, and so it's got the more modern axle when they went to this body style. All right, Brian, so here we are. We're going to take this bad boy for a test drive and learn a little bit about it. So it's a 72. It's a 72 Jeep Commando. And it's got a 304 automatic and it's AMC. So it's an AMC engine and a uh, GM transmission. Uh, which TM transmission? Yep. No, which one? I don't know. <laughs> Three speed automatic. Three speed auto. It says General Motors Corp on the web. Man. Okay. So, so in '72, AMC bought the Jeep Kaiser, uh, and it was called a Jeepster before that, and pretty much unchanged since the '40s. And then when AMC bought it, they wanted it. Okay. And then, because uh, the older ones look like a Wrangler. 
and not a lot of wind noise. Not except, a lot of wind noise at low <laughs> speed. At higher yeah. speeds, you get more wind noise. It's actually windy which today. Which take it up a little bit. Oh yeah. So what do you think this thing? Maybe uh, it's got a uh, what was that? 110 mile an hour speed limit. Yeah. Speed limit. I heard that if you get up to 65, the passenger gets nervous. Yeah, probably. That's what I hear. I get nervous when you drive anyway. <laughs> 35. <laughs> so there you go. So it's an AMC. Are we AMC, giving it the beans? 200 and some. Well, 150 <laughs> to 210 horsepower depends how you think about it. It's all right. It feels right. okay. It's about three quarter throttle. That's 50. Oh, here comes the whistling and the. Yeah, a little bit of wind. Noise. Almost feels like that's wobble. So this yeah. is a solid front axle uh, car. Yeah, with leaf springs at all four corners. Shocks are pretty old, and the tires are 10 or 15 years old too. So, oh, so they're new for, uh, for some of our stuff. That's yeah, really new. yeah. So, but it goes down the road pretty good. It steers good. Is that a power antenna, or is that a manual? No, I think that's just a manual. And I think it didn't come on the radio. I think that was added at the dealership. It says G. Yeah. There's the speaker. Uh, that it's yeah, a, that is the it's a kick and sound system. I don't think that's uh, volt meter is factory, but it's. Yeah, there's the sound system. All right, we're well, gonna get us copyrighted, Brian. What? We're gonna copyright infringement. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that volt meter is new. So yeah. we've not checked the four wheel drive yet. We don't know how how that works, but everything else seems to work. Yeah. Windshield wipers. Watch this. Look at how cute yeah. those are. Yeah. Little guys. Doesn't work yet. Squirter on the Mooport works. Yeah, the bag is installed. Uh, it's actually got a washer. It does have bag. a bag, yeah. Yeah, kind of old school. And the top's removable. We'll have to do that sometime soon. And a lot of bolts in there. Um, okay. Well, if that's a snap. I don't know, I'm afraid to touch anything. Yeah, too brittle. It doesn't no turn. <laughs> it's a turn. It's a turn here. A body rolling. A little body rolling. Not too much. I think I was more startled by your sudden change of direction because you weren't looking where you were going. I was looking where I was going. <laughs> there we go. So that's okay. Shifts good. It shifts firm. It just probably shifts better if it had more power behind it. Yeah. Kind of, uh, you know, lunges girl, into each gear. Two barrel car, pretty backed up exhaust, I'd say. So it's an AMC 304? 304. Yeah. Which I think shares a lot of parts with the bigger AMC. Wow. Well, so, from what I know about AMC, I think I know they they had one block. Right. They punched it out. Hey, we have a new engine. I don't, I don't know if 401 parts fit, but I know 360 still fit. It's right on here. They're a little hot. Yeah. It's 55. Do you think that's 55? Yeah. Uh, I followed another guy home in our own 55, both cars. Okay. Maybe new shocks and balanced tires that would do a little better. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, I don't want to say it's a comfortable ride, but it's soft. It's more comfortable than you think for a short wheelbase. Right. And a little bit off road ability. It feels like, to me, it feels like a soft, a softer, lightweight Kaiser. <laughs> you know, it's just, it doesn't feel like a Jeep. No, it doesn't feel wrangler here at all. That's the word. Not know. not wrangularly. Wrangler yeah. That's just that's a word. That is a word now. But, uh, yeah, how what, what kind of controls do we have over there for a heater and everything? We have a heater and a fan. <laughs> and you can either switch to the frost or vent down there. Uh, is there nothing choices. for the windshield? Oh, there's something in here. I don't know where the vents are. There's a vent in here. Oh, yeah. 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 And then you got wipers and my lights. That's it. Keep it simple. And uh, you said manual drum brakes all around? Manual while? drum brakes all the way around. Seems to stop good as long as you remember to start early. Damn. <laughs> all right. Well, it's, uh, you haven't tested the four-wheel drive yet? No, we have to try that. Okay. The guy said it worked. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. And in today's Jeeps, we push a button. 
actually, the 10 CV don't do anything because it's all wheel drive all the time. Right. They've come a long way. It's almost like it's a different car company. Almost like it is. Kind of is. Got a power port. Is that what that is? Here, plug stuff no in. kidding. Sure. Oh man, she's clean too. Lighter. Never been used. Never smoked in, maybe. Never been smoked in. Spare parts. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we'll kick her on the field, uh, test four wheel drive, and see what clunks. See what clunks. Yeah. See how good these mud tires do. I don't know if they didn't look like mud tires. White wall mud tires. They're gonna be mud tires. Yeah, we'll do everything. All right, Brian, show us what's under the hood. It's got a, a vate in it. Yep, it's got a vate. A non Jeep grill, like you were saying. There's no, is it five like bars? Do we have a Jeep around here? Oh, it's up around the corner. Okay. More, it looks more like a Bronco. Yeah. Look at this Day Glow Aqua. Aqua, green. yeah. Aqua Why green. is it so bright? Looks like it might leak. Yeah. Looks like it might leak. So it's manual choke. It's got yeah. a screw in the vacuum port. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, the horns are not hooked up. Vehicle emissions control information. What? Yeah, there's some emission control. See, it's got that. Oh, it's got box. a canister on it. Yeah. That's funny. There's a lot. So there's the brake cylinder, manual. Oh, but at least it's a. Is that copper? It might be copper. He might have put that on there. Yeah. Now this was the brake light switch, and he said they yeah. always had trouble with it. Yeah, they do. So he mounted one on the pedal. More traditional in the cab. Yeah. One. Yeah. And uh, it's got a new power steering gearbox down there somewhere. And oh yeah, right here. Other than that, uh, as far as I know, it's original. How was the steering on it? Was it sloppy? Steering was really good. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, there's one U joint bed for the front drive shaft. Other than that, it feels really tight. He's beautiful. Orange wires. I haven't seen those yeah. in, since the 80s. Right. And they're all. So the guy had it, and uh, did he drive it around, or? He drove it 5,000 miles in 10 years. He was retired, and uh, was getting older, so it was time to sell it. So You're getting older. Might be time to sell it. 
<laughs> Getting older listening to that story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it definitely looks like an international front end, though. Looks like an international or, or the early first gen Bronco to me. Yeah. Uh, and that's the look that I think they were going for. And then the wider front end gave them more room for a V8 instead of a, just a straight six. So that yeah. was the thought behind that. There's just the V8 just adds just a little more Make bottom a little end, more power. just yeah. a little more. Yeah. You know, you're not usually you know hurting for low end torque. Springs. I don't know what, um, yeah, leaf springs, shocks. It's got a steering stabilizer in it. It does, yeah. And then uh, I don't know anything about. It's either a Dana 30 or a Dana 28 or something. It's a little guy. Mostly you count the bolts, which I haven't done yet. There's bolts on it. That's a little pumpkin. Yeah. Sure, it's light duty. Uh, yeah. It is. Uh, once they went with AMC, they changed this over to the more traditional U-joint in here instead of that funny ball thing. Yeah. And, and so it's got the more modern axle when they went to this body style. Where's your head? Oh, that was already like Are you filming? Yeah, we're filming. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look in your can, Brian. Yep. Removal top. Removal top. But that yeah. keeps the window, um... How do you like these? I always, I always like these. They're neat because you put them up and then when you want to put them down, yeah. you just do one more time. Well, no. <laughs> they work. So there's a bump in the tailgate. Yeah, this bump in the tailgate is not to make the license plate level straight. Plum. It's to make room for this right back here. Look. If you didn't have that bump, you couldn't get a spare tire in here. So that's the whole reasoning behind that bulge right there. Yeah, and does it open up and clear the bumper? This bumper looks like the front bumper, right? Yeah, the bumper looks the same front and back. <laughs> which is probably for a reason, right? Yeah. Does this gate open up? Oh, you got latches? Yeah, That's annoying. It is annoying. It's kind of like a second thought. It so is. There's the bump. Oh. It swings down. But do you need it to swing noise. down? I, don't, I guess if you're like driving, it. if you're driving, then it swings oh, down. If you could drive with the he said there's a reason why that's on the hinge. And yeah, because when you, you put really it down mean. and drive with the gate open, you could be legal. Oh. If they see your moonshine, they're going to want to run your plate. Ahead. Yeah. This is a swimming yeah. pool for kittens? Yeah. Yep, so there's the spare tire. Where's your spare tire? <laughs> So that's how that works. That's kind of neat. So the seats kind of suck. It's got airbags. Yep, airbag seats. <laughs> but you have the seats, right? You're going to yeah, swap those seats, out. So we're going to either reupholster them or use them as an example. Yeah, it looks like you put new carpet in it. Well, cool. Yeah, so there you have it. Yeah, it's a project that's kind of already completed in a way. Complete yeah. enough. It's kind of good the way it is, but we kind of want to make a few improvements on it. Yeah. So. We're going to jump this one? We'll jump this through the RV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Brian's that's 1972. It. He's gone commando. Yeah. Yep. It's got four wheel, four wheel drive. And a V8. And a V8, and it works. Yeah, it all works. Thanks, thanks for showing me. Careful. Right. Where's that? All right, what's the story about this mound? Okay, so Sarah was over here doing target practice. See, it's a cow grave. See the hoof sticking out. <laughs> There's an actual hoof. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> Okay, I think, yeah, go on. Okay, so, so there's a body Sarah, there. Sarah was over here doing target practice up on the hill, and the neighbor came over to shoot a sick cow. Okay. And Sarah didn't know it, so Sarah did a couple shots, and then she heard the shot that killed the cow, and she thought somebody was shooting back at her. That's funny. 